Cooking with Drag Queens is made possible because of fabulous people just like you. Thank you. All the recipes featured on the series are available in our Season 1 cookbook. Check out our cookbook, t-shirts, aprons, tote bags, and more at our store. Feastoffun.com slash store. A lot of the fans of the Rocky Horror Picture Show may remember that during the time warp, the unconventional conventionalists were dancing next to a great big giant dessert table. Tonight, we pay tribute to the Rocky Horror Picture Show by making a spooky mini trifle with matcha green tea and almond cake. Joining us to make this fantastic dessert all the way from the UK is Miss Kitty Powers, who, like Dr. Frankenfurter, is always looking for love, if not for herself, than for other people. Please welcome the hopeless romantic, Kitty Powers. Hello kittens, I'm Kitty Powers, video game developer and matchmaker extraordinaire, here to bring love to the world, and you're watching Cooking with Drag Queens. I got into drag by going to fancy dress parties or costume parties as you would call them. But I guess I'd always had a drag queen in me and I was starting my new company so I thought I'm either going to drop drag or I'm going to do something with it that is more in keeping with what I want to do creatively and that's why I put Kitty Powers into the video game. To me it felt more natural. As a game designer, my drag thing is promoting my video game and being in my video game. I'm actually famous in my family for being the one that ate the most. I think British cuisine mostly warrants its reputation for being rubbish and bland and all that. But I don't think it's that bad, it's just nowhere to go. The only thing I hate is licorice and aniseed, although I will drink Sambuca. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Powers. kittens, darling. Mm, enchanté. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? I'm all right, how are you? Would you like to take your coat off? Oh, would you Almost. mind? Would you oblige? We'll, we'll help you a little bit with that. Oh. Oh. Slowly, oh, look slowly. Slow. It's too nice a job to rush. Mm. <laughs> Let's make a cocktail while we discuss this. Yes. Oh, what have you got for me, Well, boys? we're making a witch's brew for Halloween, and we're also going to make a very spooky green beverage. Mm. And the, the secret ingredient is green jello. Yay! So mm. we're going to pour into a pitcher a giant glass of... Uh, Pineapple juice. What's great about Jello and pineapple is you're not when you make pineapple and Jello, uh, that's probably enough. Oh, that's right. It yeah. doesn't set, does it? It doesn't set because this has bromides in it, which are like kill the protein. I so, will you do the honors of uh, mixing that around a little bit? I once tried to make a trifle and I didn't know about the pineapple thing. Oh, really? Yeah, and it really annoyed me. So we're making this cocktail here, and you can make it for the kids at home. You just don't put any vodka in it. But this mm -hmm. is for the adults. Well, so this is a uh, this is it. We're gonna put enough? some uh, we soda water, water right? Is it all dissolved? I, think I don't so. know. I can't, I That's can't nice and bright and green. Okay. And so add some water to it. Okay. The soda water. Soda water. So we go. Oh. so you're gonna put the the soda water like about halfway okay. here, and then you're gonna put a little bit of vodka. Yeah. And you just kind of eyeball it. That's about good That's for me. Well, it's Halloween, so eyeballs are... And then you're going to pour your thick, syrupy concoction on top. <laughs> and you're going to put a, use a Starbucks straw. Yes. <laughs> Why a so Starbucks straw? Because it's green. Oh. Oh, yeah. And then you put that in there. <laughs> Is that enough? Uh, it might be a little too it's, much. It's not green oh, enough. Sorry. And we're going to put a glowing stick. Ooh, yeah. And shake it. Shake it. And shake it, baby. There. Oh my Ooh. gosh. Oh my goodness. I like that. 
going in the jar. Right. Let's make some for the other kid. Yes, let's do that. To kitty powers and to love. Cheers. Happy Aww. Halloween, darling. I guess my measuring stick for drag has to go back to RuPaul back in the 90s. When I first saw RuPaul walking down the street in the supermodel video, surrounded by those people, and everyone looked so, like, amazed because she was so statuesque and fabulous and carefree and everything. That became what I thought a drag queen should be. For me, it's about inspiring people. I was an introvert, extrovert as a kid, so I really was terribly, terribly terrified of being on the stage. But I get to kind of be myself as Kitty. Drag queens should be larger than life, and luckily I am quite large, and when I'm in heels and a big wig, I'm very large, and people do look up to me, and I'm like dragzilla kind of thing. We're gonna make a genoise, and this is uh, one of these cakes that I absolutely love. It's also called a sponge cake. So let's crack these in here. So this is eight. Let's crack eight this eggs. in here. Okay, yes, uh, yes. It's cooking with drag queens, not cooking for oh, drag right, queens, right. remember? So we're gonna put those in there, try not to get the shells in there. And so this is a cake that is leavened by whipped eggs. There we go. And that is eight. Fabulous. And then we have a cup of sugar. Do you want me to do that? Yes, put that in there. And then just start whisking it. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of that. You need strong wrists for this. You do. And then this is kind of the fun part too. It's a good thing I go to the gym, isn't it? It is. You are, you're kind of a little bit of a cross between Rocky and Frankenfurter, because you're like, you're like your own muscle queen. Will you flex your bicep for the camera? What you mean like that? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I have to pad in order to compensate. Flex this one, I want to see the other side. Oh, oh right. kitty! Oh, darling. This is over simmered water. You don't want it boiling, you just want it slightly simmering, and you don't want the pan this top pan to touch the water. You just want it in here. And so we're gonna get this to about a temperature of between 110 and 120. So That's basically warm to the touch. So crazy. do that just back and forth. And it, cause if you don't keep, do yes, please. If you don't keep moving it around, you're just gonna end up getting a, like scrambled, scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Yes. How do we know that it's ready? Cause uh, it, it, it'll feel ready. And I think it might be feel ready. Ooh. And then we're gonna put this over here. Can we just switch this off? Uh, yes, if you would be so kind. All right. <laughs> Why did you just do that? Because <laughs> that's what Frank and Ferdy does in Rocky Horror when he goes to turn stuff on, he just goes <laughs> Turn up this sonic oscillator and open the reactor power three more points. And so we're going to let this uh, uh, until it gets uh, nice and fluffy. And then we're going to mix our other ingredients into it and then we're going to put it into the oven. When I was a young, impressionable, closeted homosexual, the character in Rocky Horror picture show that fascinated me the most was probably Rocky. The personality of Frankenfurter fascinated me because I was so introverted as a kid. So that has inspired me too, I think subconsciously over the years. Halloween, we, have, we do celebrate it in England. I don't remember us doing it American style. We always did the pumpkin thing, like carving pumpkins, which was cool because it was quite creative. And I'm, I do love to show off when there's something creative to do. But no, we didn't do trick or treating until we all saw ET, and then suddenly it became a thing. <laughs> Wants to kind of be like a come off like a ribbon. There you go. So yeah, it's in the ribbon stage like that. Oh. So this is six tablespoons of butter and then I put a teaspoon of vanilla extract in there and then we're gonna take about a third of this now we're gonna incorporate this we're gonna we're gonna fold it in now we're not gonna stir it so much as we're gonna like fold it so it goes like this do you want to do that yeah if you couldn't just kind of gently make sure that all okay. of it's incorporated in without popping too many of the bubbles yes don't pop the bubbles because the bubbles is what makes the cake light Rose. and fluffy because this doesn't have any it? yes it leavens it I like and, that word. Yeah. And so instead of using like baking soda or baking powder or yeast to make it rise, it's all contingent on the eggs. All right. So that's, I think that's pretty much all of it. Yes. Yeah. So we'll, f and then just kind of fold the rest in. Marvelous. I love that thick, gooey consistency. It's so creamy. I just want to rub it all over my naked oh, body. Oh, fantasy free me. Uh, we have matcha. Uh. Yes. And then we also have almond flour Would, and I want to see cake flour. So 
So we're gonna put the cake flour in. So first. scrape the rest of this out of here into okay. this bowl, would you? Be a dear. Thusly. A dear. I'm a yeah. cat. Darling. I'll hold it. Almond dear. flour yeah. and matcha. Have you ever been to London's West End? No, I would love to. Have you been to London? Oh, I want to go. That's, That's the, where the place where. Right? I gotta yeah. tell you, it's so much fun to be dressed like one of the uh, <gasps> unconventional conventionalists. Oh, Look at this. Do, so, think. Mark, what's, no. what's the point no. of all, the, so, all this? Well, so you're, you're sifting that, and then yeah. we're gonna sift it again into thirds over this, and then we're gonna incorporate that into it as oh. well. Oh, let's do this over here. Oh, should I tip this in? No, 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 not, not yet, not yet. Because you do it in thirds. So this right. is, you're going to do this in thirds. Okay, so fold that so in. So then we're going to fold this oh, in okay. slowly. Let me do that. And just like that. And then it will go green, right? If I start to add a little bit more to it. Yeah. And once you fold it, it'll never be the same. And then we're going to pour it in here. She just wanted to tell how to behave. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rather tender subject, don't you think? <laughs> She's like another slice. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what it's supposed to look like, like mm -hmm. spinach, uh, a spinach souffle. It looks mm -hmm. like an uncooked spinach omelet. Yes. yes. And also too, there's another process too, which later, because you might be like, oh, this isn't green enough. It gets dipped into green tea as well. I learned all my makeup from YouTube, watching Drag Race and seeing, you know, just picking up little tips here and there, like, oh, that's how they put on their contouring. And actually, every drag queen seems to do it differently. And, and as you try different things, you tend to pick the things that work better for you. I usually have a theme when I put together a look, which might be inspired by a video game. I tend to try and always have a video game theme. The casual player of Kitty Powers, who's never seen Kitty Powers before, they think that Kitty Powers is a woman. So in a way, I, I quite like that, because it's opening up young people's minds to the idea that sort of there's this gender fluidity and you don't have to be part of a box or in a box or, you know, you can be anything you want to be. So we're Don't going to be talk. making some chocolate spiders <laughs> and we're going to make some white chocolate webs. Mm -hmm. So this is your white chocolate and this is your dark chocolate and depending mm. on how much it stirs and melts, this is perfect right This now. is absolutely nice and perfect. It's thick and, and So sticky. we're going to start adding a little bit more. And this white chocolate melts really easily. Oh, I, I see. So if you put hard chocolate with soft chocolate, it will just melt anyway, even though it's cold. But it's, it's training the melted chocolate. Okay, so now you're going to have your cone. I'm looking forward to piping. You, uh, you're good at this, right? Well, I've never done it before, but I, I have a degree in ceramics. So oh. let's start so with the chocolate. Dealing with so pull it up. wet things. Pull, go, go what am I doing? Pull it up to, it see, to how, see how runny it is. That's great. So that's a good thickness there. We like thickness. And you're going to pipe so put some in there. Okay. Put we're all your chocolate in there. Can I fold that down yeah. to make yeah. it a bit easier? Kitty, always there with the sexual innuendos. Well, you know Just what? Just stuff the chocolate in. Honey. Just dribble it into the cavity. So now, Kitty, let me show you something here. Honey. So make a spider. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. You're... Don't jump the boom, boom gun, gun, honey. So the, the, the chocolate's starting to drip out here. Oh, it's leaking. So you want to make sure to hold this down. Right. And I'll show it to the camera the here. And we're going to fold it from one side and then to the other, like an envelope. Yeah. And then you're going to start rolling it up like a toothpaste tube. Ah. And let me put this over here so it doesn't drip down into the... So you want to make a tiny little itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. So you're going to make an X, like the X-Men, right? Yeah. And you go... Is that the legs? It's going to be the legs. And then it's another leg, and then it's little hands. So while that's happening, gonna Mark's going to get some almonds and a fork, and he's going to dip the almonds in the chocolate. There you go, girl. And we, Yeah. Oh, you're doing a great job. Yes. What am I going to do with that now? And then we go like this for a little body. Boop. A body oddy there. Body, 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 body. body Stop relying on that body, Mark. That looks gorgeous, girl. Do it in Lady Bunny's voice. That looks gorgeous, girl. <laughs> almost, as, <laughs> almost as nice as your face. <laughs> so now we're going to do the spider web. You make a, an a back to the axe, right? It all comes back to the axe. 
right? Dr. X, and then we make another X. So basically, you're just kind of spiraling around, and then when you get to the edges, you kind of want to do a little reinforcing, because this stuff is a little delicate, you know? One more. We're having all the fun. Okay, kitty. Let me finish it off. Oops. So you want to get those, not, those uh, webs nice oh, and tight with each other. Because they you kind of want them accidentally touching each other. Gorgeous Look. girl. Oh my god, do another one. You're like a Spider Man woman. Spider Woman. Isn't she a lesbian? Spider the com comic book, yeah. In the comic book. So Batwoman and Spider Woman are both lesbians? Oh no, maybe it was just. I Bat think Spider Woman. Woman is lesbian too. Right there. And so while, when so that is. Can I put happening, eyeballs on those or not? Oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. I, I, we're gonna put some sugar. So you could put some uh, like colored sugar on the spiders. Oh yeah, you can put a little happy face. Look at that. Oh, that one's angry. Yeah, well, it should be eliminated. mad. We're gonna eat it. Well, so there you go. Right. So you're gonna put this in the freezer to let it set. Yeah, we'll let that set. I think, speaking of for Kitty Powers, we just want everyone to be in love, in abundance. One of the biggest challenges I faced was when I thought my game had failed. We released it on mobile first, and it didn't sell at all. And mostly because no one had heard of it. So then it was like, well, why has it failed? Is it because it's not a good game? Well, no, it's because no one knew it was there. So it wasn't until we released it on PC, and it came on Steam, and the YouTubers got hold of it, and it went viral on YouTube. Suddenly, it became successful. And actually, I think that was very healthy, because to think that you failed, and then to be successful, is actually much better than just being successful because he doesn't make you appreciate it as much, I think. So this is our fabulous spooky mini tiramisu matcha um, trifle parfait. And the British call it a trifle, right? Yes. Americans call it a, a parfait and Italians call it a tiramisu. But mm. it's the same idea. It's cake, pudding and in various fruits and gels it's and layers. layers, isn't it? Layers. So now uh, you're gonna start by uh, having your puddings here. This is a uh, matcha and uh, cream cheese and whipped cream and some sugar mixed together. You can get the recipe at our store, <coughs> feastoffun.com slash store. This is without the matcha and a little vanilla and this is chocolate pudding. Mm -hmm. This is mangoes. This is uh, wilted raspberries that have been macerated and sliced strawberries. Mm -hmm. And here we're going to have a three-fourths cup of water. You're gonna mix this all together. Kitty, half cup of sugar, girl. The whole thing? Yes. And Pop you're gonna definitely. put a teaspoon of matcha. Oh. And a teaspoon of brandy. And I'll just eyeball this, because I have oh. good eyeballs. Whip that up. Let's Whip it good. good, girl. Now, so here's our cake, our sponge cake. And I'm just going to use one of the cups that we're going to use as the cookie oh, cutter. Oh, that's a good idea. In a way, just to take it to the side. Because it's the and same size. It's the same size, exactly. And then I'll go like that. And here's a plate for you to put the uh, cookies. Oh, why, thank you. All right, we'll Desley. take that. Say Pop them thusly. So uh, you got their syrup. Take the, take the whisk away from the drag queen. <laughs> Threaten her with an electric knife. Hey. And... Um, <laughs> And you have your cake, and you're going to eat it. You're not going to eat it. You can eat the other part. I was just thinking. You want a little taste? It. You want to taste? Yeah, it? let me taste, taste it. some of that. We just mm. made this right before tasting. You you helped make this, girl. Pay attention here, kittens. All right, darling. So you're going to take your little cake discs. Yeah. You're going to drop them in the matcha soaking syrup. Oh. You're going to drip drip them in the excess fluids in there, and then you're going to stick it all the way into the bottom oh. of the of the vessel. Dip it in the excess fluid and stick it in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so you're going to go, why don't you guys do that? And you're going to pass me the... Uh, uh -huh. Let it drip off into the water because you don't want to run You don't want to run out of tea. And then I, like, I plop can it can thusly. One? Yeah. And then the next step, you're going to want to... You can follow, you can do any kind of color combination, but it's nice to do it in this color combination because it sort of allows the colors to stand out. So we're going to put some of the white cream, the vanilla cream, on the bottom. So you want to contrast the layers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you kind of put it in the middle and then you want to spread it out towards the glass because you, you don't want to get the glass too messy. You want to keep that kind of neat. So there you go. Can I have a spoon? Yeah, help yeah. yourself. Don't worry. And then the next step, I'm going to get some raspberries. Raspberries? <laughs> Say it like Carol Channing. Raspberries. 
And uh, you're gonna just spread the raspberries in there. And then you're gonna put some, another layer of cake in there. Of this? So I'm gonna take care of this. So the next step is chocolate. Oh, okay. Okay. After the raspberry. Chocolate. So you put cake. On top of the raspberry. And then, yeah, there you go. Okay. I guess we're all kind of just taking our turns, or are we assembling? What's after the well, chocolate? After the chocolate? I've lost control. Oh, strawberries. Oh, strawberries. What about I'll put strawberries. You do more is chocolate. Is that peaches or mango? Oh. I'm about to lose control. Oh, we're supposed to put the mango with the strawberries. Yes. So it's strawberries, mangoes, more cake. Cake. Put chocolate on that one. Okay. Those look really good, actually. Yeah. Right, give me another cake. Are there, oh, there they are. Yeah. So you're gonna put that in your syrup. Oh. Let me have the syrup when you're done, my dear. Okay. Yeah, Being really, just, you're hogging this, up all this the syrup. Right, syrup. Let me just fine. squeeze some of it out. There we go. It's all right, it's fine. Lovely. It's all good, baby. Now push that down. If you yeah. have some space, you can put the push green it. grass on top. Push nice. it real good. I didn't think that much of pudding. Ooh. So now, we put a little matcha powder over it. And you bring. Ooh. So you can take these delicate spider web. And so Mark likes them kind of at an angle like this. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. Shoop. And then put the little naughty spider on top. Ooh. And they look delicious. So here we have a matcha and almond tiramisu, trifle, green tea, raspberries, mangoes, strawberries, cream cheese, and a spider mm. with a spider web on top. Mm. Try it, see how you like oh. it. I'm trying to get as many layers on my spoon as possible. Kitty Powers, the show is almost over. The trifle is delicious. Your video is a success. Here's your rainbow medal. You have graduated. Now get back to Britannia. Prepare the Brexit beam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't bring that one up. Prepare the Brexit beam. That's. <laughs> It's supposed to be a bad That's rich. thing, not a good thing. I know. So remember folks, if you can't cook for yourself, how the hell are you gonna cook for somebody else? Can I get a bon appetit? Bon appetit. Thank you so much, Kitty Powers. Mm. Bye everybody. Mm. Enchanté. Now let's do the time warp again. Mark, where's your glasses? <laughs> Where are my glasses? Here they are. What? Copyright. Oh yeah. yeah. So why don't we just uh, do a <coughs> a little dance, dance, dance walk dance, that dance. way? Bye. Bye. Oh wait, we forgot to de Medusa Alita. Oh, later. Later for the floor show. The future is really just to keep making video games and entertaining people and inspiring people purely from a creative point of view because I am an artist and I do this for the love of making things and entertaining people. I can be masculine, I can be feminine. I don't give a shit what anyone thinks of me. So, you know, that's really what I want to do is just inspire people to just, you know, get rid of all that shit.